What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony, this is Indie for Breakfast, and today I have a game called Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Now this game comes to us from developer Starbreeze Studios, published by 505 Games. Published by 505 Games, yes. <laughs> this game was indeed published, and it is an indie game. At least that's everybody is telling me. And I don't have time to fight the man, so fuck it, it's an indie game. Brother's Tale Two Sons is getting actually a lot of really good reviews from people, saying it's you know it's a masterpiece and it's a great storytelling and it's the best thing since Journey, best indie game 2013, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I've already gone through the first portion of it, so that way you know you guys could kind of, I guess we could kind of skip out on some of the uh, some of the boring learn how to do certain mechanics and such. Uh, and we get past all that. Now, this game is available for 1,200 MSP, uh, which is $15, right? Something like that. It's $15 uh, on the Xbox Live Arcade as part of their Summer of Arcade. They do it every year. They have like a whole bunch of awesome games that get released. And there's a couple more coming. Okay, there's a couple more that you guys are going to see come, come from me. Uh, some of them are indie games. Some of them are not indie games. A uh, couple of them in particular I'm looking at, I'm really excited for. One of them is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm fucking stoked about that one. And Flashback. That game, I don't know if they redid it and ruined it, or if it's basically just like an updated graphics remastered version of the original. Uh, hopefully, they did it justice the same way they did justice with uh, DuckTales. But anyways, get on a tangent. Okay, super tangent. It is going to come out on Steam on the 28th of August. And PlayStation Network on the 3rd of September. So... Don't fret if you, you know, if you want to play the game after I'm done here, and you know, you, you, you can't. Uh, so real quick, backstory fill you in. Uh, this little boy you see on the right hand side, his mother died, she drowned. They show it here after you start a fresh game. Uh, and so basically it's just these two boys. Uh, they turn around and there's a guy who's basically like, oh, I'm hurting. So they throw him in a wheelbarrow, that's where you learn how to do the mechanics and everything. Uh, and you take him to this old man, the old man's all like, oh, I need some KFC. And he points at a map and he shows you the map, you see the world tree and all that stuff. And he's like, okay, snap, we gotta go get some KFC for this guy, otherwise he's gonna die. And I've been there, I know what that's like. And so, here we are, we've gotten to this point. The way it works is, you hold down right trigger, and you control little brother. Okay, left trigger, you control big brother. And you do this with each joystick, so, there you go. And, I'm sorry, the triggers actually will activate uh, interactions with, scenario, with uh, different, you know, scene pieces. So I don't have to hold it down in order to move them both, right? But it's basically move the joysticks like a twin stick shooter and such. And that's it. And we just move. I can control the camera rotation to a degree, right? There's there's limitations and such there. Like sometimes it just locks you in, like it doesn't want you to turn around, like right here. Uh I could turn around a little bit. Oh, the little boy went right through the thing. Well, that puzzle's that puzzle's been solved. Let's go ahead and have him come over here and do something. Hold on right trigger. And then Spin the joystick in a circle. The controls are stupid simple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Funny guy. Funny guy, little brother. So let's go ahead and uh, make our way around here. Let's spin the camera the other direction. To give us a good view. See what we're up against. So we uh, we made friends with a giant ogre. And the ogre helped us get up into this, which I think I'm in the tree. Here, go, go figure out what happens. What happens? Oh. Why don't somebody just hang on? You guys hang on the whole whole way? Oh, aww. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Making the jumps as easy as just walking up to them. <laughs> now. So far from what I experienced, I was in a town, the first starting area. The ambiance is great. The way, the way, visually, everything is fantastic. For an Xbox game. <laughs> I, I'd imagine when the PC version comes out, it's gonna look just phenomenal. Okay, what do I do here? Jump up on this. Okay. So if I hold down left trigger, the big brother typically knows what to do. You have to push something in there? Oh, I guess, no, I guess we don't go this way at all. Okay, we have to put something. Yeah, go for it, go for it, little dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we have to push something into those gears.
and nothing over there. There's this big ass thing, this big ass stone here. It looks very obvious that she needs to go in there, but the boy wasn't pushing it though. Like why hold down. Wait, oh yeah, what? He gets pissed. I can't just go across this thing. Oh, the camera. Can the camera just get it under control? Leave it alone. Leave it right there. Yeah. Wow. Alright, so Big Brother's kind of a dick. Somebody needs to throw something in here. Like the little boy. Throw the little boy in there. That'll jam it up. We need to find a, a rock or something big enough, small enough for me to pick up. Can't go this way. Invisible walls, invisible walls, alright. There's not gonna be anything back there. Oh my god, the camera is really annoying. Is there a lever on the back side of this thing I just didn't see? Alright. I'm getting seasickness. This camera is oh my god. What? I, I couldn't fit through there two seconds ago. I can't try to come through. I couldn't fit. Oh, well, here's here's the thing. I need to ram in there. Uh huh. Ho hold on, hold on. Don't get excited. Hold on. Let me get over there. Let me get the front end. Now you're controlling both of them here. So I'm rotating. I'm moving in unison with each other. Camera is doing a good job of making us all sick and nauseous. I guess I'll go this way. What's funny, you know what's funny, I'm, I'm moving uh, here very, like in a week. So this is great practice. <laughs> great, great practice. Yep, we've all been here. Slide on through and then we'll bring Big Brother down on the turn, there we go. And we'll just jam this thing in there. Easy enough. It should automatically take over at some point. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I thought I was going to give you a little cutscene. Or a little quick time event. Now, because of what happened to their mom, the little boy is like just deathly afraid of water. They're like even swimming across a simple creek freaks him the hell out. And I actually drowned him once just to see if he'd drown. <laughs> well, kind of bad. It's a video game, so it wasn't that bad. Come around. Rotate it around, okay. It's it's simply a puzzle game. Hey, there's so many games like this. I feel like I'm playing Mist or, or something. But it's it's a great looking game. And again, the ambiance is great. The environment, everything is just really, really well put together. This is no real challenge yet. Like I've killed these dudes a couple times, but it's because I forced them to do it. I climbed something really high and let go. <laughs> Mostly, uh, I haven't killed the big brother yet. I killed the little brother like a billion times. Oh, here we go. This. I don't know how many times I have to do this. I swear to God, there's a broken ladder like every 15 feet. And it's the same thing. Jump up. But this time, there's no rope. Before, there was a rope where he actually lowers it down for you. I see a hook right there. How do I, how do I man that hook? Uh, I'll hold on to it then. Ah, so hold that down. And you climb up here. Okay, and curiosity says, let go. Oh! Aww. Oh. <laughs> Why did he get grinded up? Damn, I'm not asking for much. Alright, 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 alright. You hold that, you hold that down. Let's go, big brother. 
I was thinking for sure it was gonna just start. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. You're such a dickhead, little brother. I hate little brothers. Yeah. Sibling rivalry is much more intense than that. <laughs> I have two brothers of my own. I'll punch him in the face. Uh, fish. So, fish? Is this hungry? I'm hungry. Invisible walls, man. Killer. Alright, catch it! Okay, I guess they play in the water? Catch a fish, catch a fish. Okay, they're just gonna play in the water. Alright. You guys are clearly not hungry. Or giant goldfish. Oh, another machine. <laughs> it's like, we get here, it's like, oh man, this puzzle's tough. Don't know if we can manage. Oh, I guess guys gotta switch sides. My bad. Woo! Oh, hooks. The next one. Just hold down right trigger, and he'll, he automatically walks to it, and jumps onto it. Wait for a little brother. And look, oh, look at that. Another ladder. All the ladders in this game are, are just, are clearly fucked. But it's part of the puzzle. You have to hoist the little boy up. Let him go and do something. Like crank or grab a hook or something. Or basically all the work. That's what little brothers do. Big brother's there to supervise. Oh, 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 oh. Go catch it, go catch it. If I stop pedaling, nothing happens. Oh, it just opens up the gate thing there, I see. Oh, 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 God, start, start, start pumping. Start pumping. Oh, lame. Oh, oh, okay, go next one. Hey. Prank this thing up a little bit. I can make this jump. Hurry up, your brother's gonna die. Oh, never mind. Okay. It's pretty, fairly simple stuff. I mean, we, the game's only like, I've only been playing this game for, you know, what, 30, 40 minutes or something like that? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Look at all the ogres in the, in the bottom there. It's kind of interesting. Keep him in check. Keep him open. Keep him open. He will die here if I don't. And only thing happens when you die is it basically takes you back like a, a platform or two. And that's it. All right. That was cutting it a little close, I guess. All right, jump. Swing back around. Now, I don't know what kind of world these guys live in where this is all like commonplace. Like, nobody's like, whoa, what's this crazy underground? Holy, everything's crazy, craziness. Like, this entire underground, like, uh, labyrinth or actually more of a, a mine uh, is just insane to me. You got, you got they're like ruins mixed with. Uh, just all, yeah, all this machinery and everything because they're excavating. It's, it's nonsense. And these guys just like, oh yeah, no, it's cool. Let's just go work this big ass machine. Just dangle ourselves over, you know, 500 foot drop. This, I'm, I want to get some real platforming going here in a minute. I'll show you. Well, I'm not that real, but like, here we go. We've, there's a couple situations you're going to be in that are like this where you hold down the triggers and they jump onto the first one, then you just tap up. Come on, tap up. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, tap up and then up. 
There you go. Triggers. It triggers. And then you move over. So far, nothing that really involves any type of of real skill. Can I make this jump? Whoops! <laughs> Let go of the wrong one. God, I've killed little brother like 15 times now. I was gonna call him Chester. His name is now Chester. Okay. Yeah, get, get up there. Get up there. Don't be an idiot, little kid. Stop falling off things. Big brother's trying to get things done. Like, can I go this way? Nope. Okay. Just checking. Maybe we won't bring little brother all the way to the edge. Woo. You know what I did? I let go of the left trigger for a second. And then I grabbed it again. Let go. Grab it again. <laughs> oh, man. If you're looking for a game where a lot of like platforming skills involve, like Tomb Raider. When I saw this, I was like, oh, yeah, it's like Tomb Raider. That'd be sick. And it was not at all. Uh, I, I can, however, though. I think I can park it right here. Get a nice view of everything. It's kind of nice. Little vistas. Right, time to go. We need to go to KFC. Okay, 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 whoa, whoa, okay, let's put it up. There you go. Yeah, some, uh, there's definitely a bit of repetition. Whoops! Oh, oh god, he broke it. Okay, you wait over there. Don't do anything stupid. Big Brother's gonna go over here and get some stuff done. Wait, come close to the edge. I need to get down here. Come on, camera, zoom out. Okay, we'll try this again. Oh, there you go. That was an awkward drop. Oh, man. Once again, hold down right triggers. Or the triggers. Period. Oh, the controller's rumbling. Action sequence. Oh, oh god, go, 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 go. Things are falling apart, things are falling apart. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. I have to hold down the right, the right on, on both joysticks. Otherwise, we may not make it. There's a jump. Better hold down right on the joysticks. There's a thing here. Watch out, let Big Brother pull it. Oh, there's a thing. All right. Pick that lock. I have to do everything. Pick the lock, little brother. Let's put the camera around. Is there a thing or somewhere? Okay, okay, obviously both of them are, have no idea how to pick a lock. Alright, sorry, ogre guy. Yeah. Yeah, little brother get right through. Oh, look, there's a key right there. Sneak up on him. Oh man, I wonder if I have to hit the right trigger for this. Here I am. Right trigger. Oh, Hit that right trigger. Come on, hit that right trigger. I'm hitting the right trigger. I'm hit I'm hitting it. I'm not I'm not quite going for it though. There's something wrong. I think something's wrong. I think the game's broken. I'm hitting right trigger, nothing's happening. Got to pick up a bone and throw it. I'm holding right trigger here. Okay. Something's terribly wrong. Okay, yeah, big brother's useless. Hmm. Yeah. Why doesn't he just go for it? Is it, is the game mocking me because I'm all like right trigger? Let's go around a little bit, uh, this side. He positions himself, so he he's putting himself right there. But the gate needs to be opened. Apparently, is there a button to open that gate? Oh, or that, or we just yell. 
That's probably not a smart idea. Asshole. Hey, my little brother is right next to a giant ogre. Hey, nice. That doesn't work out. Hey, nice. Wait, he's, he, why is he doing that? Can he not reach the thing? He can't reach it. Okay, so, so the little brother's an idiot. He can just reach through and grab the key. It's right there! You snuck in for what? I could open the gate, but... You know, what's that gonna do for me? I mean, I can't, we can't reach through it. Gangly ass arms. Okay, so we have to find a way to open that one, I guess. When you tap the left trigger, the it looks like he he usually points in the direction of where you need to go to do something. But the problem is that he doesn't point at the direction you need to go to in order to solve the current puzzle that you're working on. He typically only points in the direction that you need to go in order to continue moving forward with the mission or quest or adventure. Yeah, see, like that. That doesn't help me at all. All right, well, let me pull this lever again, because I don't I don't recall it opening that door over there. Yeah, see, it's just doing that. All right, so that's useless. Little brother, you're, you're useless. You are useless. Oh, I can talk to him? Come on. Uh, all right. Oh my god. Is that... Wait, is, is is talking to him what it takes to to actually activate the mechanic to pick his, to pick this dude's pocket or whatever to yank the key? Do you know how mad I would be if that was the case? I'd be a little upset. Thankfully, that's not the case. Nope. Little brother still can't reach through the gate. Still can't grab it. He's positioning himself right there, but it doesn't do anything for him. When big brother gets too far away, he starts yelling at him. Come on, let's go. Keep up. Even though the little brother's doing the right thing. Okay. They're sending little brother in there? What's he going to do in there? So I'm in. Oh man, he's gonna get stomped. Yo, ogre. Ogre, yo. 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 <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> no, no, talk to the ogre. This ogre is a dick. Little brother has no idea what's going on. He's inside dicking off with the giant ogre. Get out. Just get out, little brother. Why can't you just go through there and take it? I can't squeeze through there. Can you open the door from that side? No, you can't. You just can't. No, shut up. Yeah, you can't squeeze through. All right, yeah, we know that. We'll give it one more shot, and then we're going to call it. I got time for this. I'm hungry. I want a hamburger. And I guess she's gonna sit there and look at it. No other buttons do anything. I mean, I can't even rotate the camera right here. But right trigger is supposed to activate. So watch. If I pull him away, like right right here, and then I let go of the, the thumbstick, and I hold down right trigger, see he'll automatically position himself where he needs to be in order to pick that guy's pocket. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make you know, dickhead big brother, like, either distract him, which would be stupid, because he's facing the right direction in order to get his key picked. I can't go too far because I'll start being like, oh, hey, little brother, let's go. Hey, See? Hey. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm I'm certain that I'm missing something. Uh, I don't know what that could be, but I know that I'm missing something somewhere. 
Uh, I don't, maybe I have to talk to somebody to trigger it. Talk to this dude or whatever. Or hit right oh. trigger somewhere around one of these obstacles. In order to pick up something. Watch, it'll go in the corner here. And then right trigger. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll go up here. Right trigger. Okay. We'll go up here. Right trigger. Okay. Up here. I mean, do I have to put the boy inside the thing while I do this? Let's try it. That doesn't make any sense. The thing's not gonna open whether or not little dude's in there or not. See. See, now he's just the little boy's come now that he's pissed off. I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh, I'm going too far, he says. Oh, I, can't, I can't go any further because of that. I guess the camera doesn't zoom out that far. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Anyways, so that's the game, guys. <laughs> I'm so I'm certain that you guys could probably figure this out, and I can't. I I I don't know if this is like a problem with the game or what, but the mechanic is telling them to go pick that lock or to grab that key. They know that they need the key for that lock. <sighs> His arm's not too long long enough. I can't open that first gate though. Hmm. Well. Instead of sitting here all day fiddling with it, how about I just go ahead and leave you guys with it? You guys can figure it out. And uh, I'm sure I missed a step or somewhere. And that's it. That's about all I can do. Cool. Do I, can I get fire? Can I grab fire? Yeah. Can I grab fire? Grab fire. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, the game is called A Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Available right now on Xbox Live Arcade. It's part of the Some of Arcade. Uh, deals they have going on. They have a couple more games coming out. Uh, the two mo most notable, in my opinion, uh, which will probably come towards the end, uh, or it's maybe next week or something like that, is, of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Flashback. But this game's available right now for 1200 MSP. It's going to be coming out on the 28th of August on Steam and PlayStation Network on the 3rd of September. Uh, I guess I'll go watch some Let's Plays. I'm sure other people are doing it and uh, see what the hell I'm missing here. Or maybe I just won't, and I'll leave it to you guys. All you guys who are more than willing to point out where I fucked up. <laughs> but overall, though, my, my in closing, my thoughts that the game, it, it feels like I'm playing, uh, you know, Mist or just one of the, like, those old puzzle games where you're just moving through and like every, every, every new step is a different rendered picture you know like basically the game is a ton of pictures and that's it it's like you know step by step like a, like almost like a the old school dungeon crawlers um and you just have all these puzzles you have to deal with you pick up codes and all that stuff here i don't think we're going to be dealing too much with like finding numbers and codes and decrypting things and all that stuff which is what made some of those games really fun uh and i can't say that it doesn't have it because it might have it later but so far all we've seen is a lot of cooperative things there's no co-op which is really unfortunate though like local co-op or anything uh, that would have really kind of made this thing shine because then you could troll your buddy or something like that would have really 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 made this game something special um, but Story wise, I'm sure this thing's probably gonna pick up. It's probably gonna be pretty amazing But don't really expect it to go anything longer than eight hours or so because there's no progression like there's no There's, there's, there's no gear progression. There's nothing like that that we've really come across in the first I, I'm in the first hour of the game um so I can't, I don't really expect there to all of a sudden be like, so all of a sudden you could craft things and all of a sudden you get weapons and you could uh, block and parry and, and melee and you know, whatever. No, I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I think this is just a straight up uh, puzzle platformer and that's pretty much it. So feel free to go check it out one more time. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony and this is Indie for Breakfast. I'll see ya.